the MIFID II proposals that have been put forward, are they sufficient to protect market participants from high frequency trading abuse? I think the honest answer is that they may be. There has been a rise in high frequency trading over the past few years. Our view has generally been that, that speed in itself is, is a function of markets. It's when it can be combined with other factors that it can become problematic, if you like, to price formation, to true price formation. Now, are European governments leveling harsh enough criminal charges against market abuse related to HFT? There's always going to be a challenge in terms of enforcement because you have a data challenge there. Now, that can be, that can be managed, but it requires consistent effort to keep up with the, the best possible IT to support your activities. But I think the political intent is, is very, very clearly signaled, and I think that's actually very helpful. You've had updates to the market abuse regime. You've got a major and, and very visible focus on the way that benchmarks are run. In fact, there's been an announcement from the UK government today that they're looking at extensions to the regime that already takes in LIBOR. So, Yes, I think that the, the focus is there, but it will always be a challenge to make sure that it's fully enforced. But it needs to be because if it isn't, the investors, including the individual savers, will lose confidence. So yeah, it, it, there's a lot that hangs on this.